child can't count objects or actions without first being able to rote count. But rote count does not guarantee that your child is able to count a group of objects or that they understand that the number word is referring to an amount. Making that leap from just saying words in sequential order to understanding the actual purpose of the number word to describe an amount is called one-to-one -one correspondence. One-to-one -one correspondence is basically just accurately counting. So how can you support your child's one-to-one -one correspondence skills? Follow your child's lead and count the quantity of what they're looking at, pointing to, or playing with. This could be counting stationary objects, moving objects, actions, and sounds. Here are some pro tips for breaking up the sequence of numbers they learned when rote counting and ways to teach your child one-to-one -one correspondence. One, point to what you are counting. Two, count slowly. Three, move the objects that are counted when possible. Take a look at these examples of one-to-one -one correspondence with three different age ranges, infant, toddler, and preschooler. One, two, three, four, five. Have one, two, three triangles. Can you count them? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Rote counting and one-to-one -one correspondence both lay the foundation for the next critical numbers and operations math skill your child will need to master, the cardinal rule. Mm -hmm.